Hi guys, Ryan here from um, the Private Banking Forum. Um, I'm just going to do my live sort of journal daily update. Um, left it quite late to start doing this today. I mean, it's currently quarter past one Eastern time. I mean, just I've had nothing sort of really to report back. I mean, um, I pretty much got nailed this morning. I got this morning wrong. I mean, I had a feeling that that today I should have been a seller at the highs, and um, I did want to sell above the, yesterday's previous highs, but I just um, I kept my plan, the path of least resistance is up, and tried to buy a pullback like I've been doing, and um, it just didn't work out today. I mean, looking now back in hindsight, it just clearly made sense. I mean, we we, we ran the highs overnight, and then um, we just rejected value and started to see downwards rotations, and obviously then the move just went, f um, everyone just jumped on board and sold this down. So, um, I mean, I didn't do too bad on this. I mean, I covered my, um, I covered my my account here and with regards to risk I mean I tell what I started to do was um off of the open uh, we opened gap up again and um I waited for a um a test of uh so what I tried to do here into the open was um was pretty much I waited for um, this rotation back into value and I tried to uh, establish long from the value area low, seeing if we could um, see buyers respond here and push up through VWAP and I managed to get one scale here and um and we see a rotation back down to uh, the value area high and um, my next sort of trade location area which was um which was the top of uh, this distribution sort of ledge here and uh, yesterday's value I mean look I've split the profile out from yesterday but so this is what I was looking at so I started to add again here at 66s I mean I added one contract at the lows of um of the initial balance and um and we see, we did we did see sort of responsive buy and or just rotations two way pretty much trade and um I managed to get um, scaled out um, on my core position here um, for about two and a quarter points, uh, and um, two and three quarter points. Sorry, um, I didn't actually get my first and second like one point two point scale out on my core position, but um, from the um, rotation down um, to the IB lows after it, uh, it got established at the overnight lows, which I added just one contract here. I managed to get a two point scale out here, so. I got one point off the open. I got two points on my scale out, and I ended up getting um, a quarter scale out on my core position. On my second scale out, I just got it off of the table to to to, to uh, manage my risk here and just um, just um, manage my core position. And obviously, the idea was behind this was is I banked um, two and three quarter points, and I had about a three point stop on the trade. So no matter what happened, I mean, I was going to be break even on the trade. Um, worst case scenario here. So I mean, that's just my thought process here and. Um, with the market just not doing what I wanted it to do and um, I just uh, started to do this. If anything I just sort of lost focus here and um, and when we see this um, this price action established I should have just uh, I've just got out of my position and tried to establish a position short in VWAP. Um, I did post on my Twitter feed um, just very very cautious of this negative skill on VWAP but I sort of just what I was sort of leaning off of was this um, the value from value area high and the value area for the VWAP. Um, I did think we were going to possibly see responsive buy in here and um, and hold uh, the the volume point of control. Uh, sorry, the TPO point of control in this sort of uh, this this distribution high volume uh, this distribution ledge here, and we just never see that. There was just no buyers here responding, and um, obviously the path of least resistance then comes to the downside, and we see this. Um, this move down the sort of stop run I guess and um, I ended up getting stopped out of my core position here so I pretty much just got break even on this trade if not it's just probably I've not even looked at it um, if it was profitable or not I mean I will review my trades at the end of the day like that but um, I do uh, since then I've just basically been sitting here I mean the next idea was to maybe be a buyer here um, I mean I split out yesterday's TPO ledge so um, we can see the, the the two distributions from yesterday. I mean, you have the, the distribution from the morning, and then the breakout and F period, and the, the higher distribution. So, obviously, the next sort of uh, trade location area came to 62, 61's area, which also lined up with um, this week's uh, developing VWAP. And um, I just uh, I'm just going to sit on hands here for the rest of the day for the minute. And um, I didn't take this trade. I mean, we've got FMC minutes coming out, and um, it was a clear sort of uh, imbalance to the downside at the minute. And um, I just didn't want to fade this area, so. Um, at the minute, I'm just going to sit on hands and uh, and watch this market play out. I mean, there were some opportunities on the crude. I was going to be a seller from this area, but I just um, I'm just sitting on hands here for the minute, and um, I'm just going to see how everything plays out. There's no need to push things um, when um, they don't need to be pushed. So, um, it's one thing I've learned is to be patient and not have to trade. We don't have to trade. 
only trade when the market meets your criteria so um anyway i'll keep you posted on what i see here and i'll do here for the rest of the day but i do think um that will probably be i will probably not trade the rest of the day now anyway keep you posted well just had um fmc minutes out about 10 minutes ago and um you can see this sort of crazy uh, price action that come has come in. Um, I mean, the, the Fed have announced that they're still going to continue with their bond buying program and they're not um, going to taper yet. But um, we're not seeing, to, <laughs> don't seem to be getting a, um, a positive reaction here. We're just seeing uh, quite big two-way swings at the minute. So, I mean, just some interest in here is um, how this market is just basically <laughs> rotating from just below VWAP all the way up to the high of, of the, this week's developing value so pretty wild swings here but um, still seeing support um, at yesterday's lows um, and this is yesterday's low area I've had pegged out and uh, we, we see excess here and um, we are seeing um, buyers stepping in here so I mean maybe we'll see this um, we will see this continue today I mean if we can't break through this uh, this sort of 5950s area then um who knows we might just fill out um just fill out the rest of this distribution here and just and just see two-way trade balance from uh, 6850 down to um the 60s uh who knows i'm not trading this now i've just um sitting on hands obviously just watching watching all this um all this havoc and chaos unfold so i'm just learning from um from the price action in real time anyway I'll, um I'll keep you posted here. Well, <laughs> you can see there's a serious imbalance to the um the bear side now. I mean, this looks like obviously they were selling the value area higher here. God knows, but pretty um pretty wild spike down here um through some pretty serious levels. I mean, we come down to um next support now. Um, the previous uh, I think this is Monday's uh, Monday's low now. So um pretty crazy uh, day here as we, we can expect with the SMC minutes and um, another interesting view is uh, we're right to um, the edge of this VWAP now since uh, this low since we've seen this sort of parabolic uh, move up so as you can see we've just been uh, rejecting it all the way now and um, this is the next pullback so it'll be um, interesting to see what reaction we get here from this uh, 51 area Anyway, I think I'm going to call this video a day now. I'm going to go down to the gym and um, enjoy the rest of my evening. So um, I hope you all had a great day and uh, traded safely today. And um, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.